All right, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's Friday. I am headed to the joint. So remember, I don't know if y'all remember because it was, well, actually it was yesterday for you. Let's see, normally these vlogs are a week apart, but right now they're a day apart. So I said, something going on with my back. It's not muscular. I need to see someone. I would like to get an x-ray, but I, I don't have time for that. So anyway, I said, I don't want to go get an adjustment because I feel like it will paralyze me. I feel like it will make this worse. But I'm willing to risk it, everybody. I don't actually think I'm gonna get paralyzed. Two miles. Especially because the right lane to take exit 61 for Winchester Road, California 79. Okay. I don't get my neck adjusted, and I don't care if they say, hey, this is directly related to your neck. We have to do your neck. I'm gonna say, no, thank you. I'm not getting my neck. I do not get my neck adjusted. Um, oh, hold on, Ruben's calling me. Okay, so anyway, I don't get my neck adjusted because I just don't like how it feels and I feel like for real like I know I joke like oh if I get my back adjusted I feel like they're gonna paralyze me I actually do feel like I have a serious fear of getting paralyzed by getting my neck adjusted a second from the right lane plus, exit 61. plus there is data there is research of people getting their neck adjusted and then having a stroke so no ma'am no ma'am no, ma no ham no turkey it's not gonna happen um however if they could like push my spine back in place or whatever's going on here uh that would be fantastic so anyway Diet's going good today. Uh, my last few days, like I said, they ha or I don't know if I actually said this. I said it in my check-in. They haven't been perfect prep At days. Right. In that, oh my gosh, hold on. I had to turn off the the volume on my um, directions. I had them on when we were in Vegas because it was like they the directions were unclear. There was a lot of construction, a lot of freeway merges and stuff that I didn't understand. But anyway, I don't even know what I was saying because I've been interrupted so many times. I'm hoping that this back adjustment pushes my spine or whatever back in place so that I can get back to my normal life because like I said, I have taken off cardio, I have taken off the gym, I have taken off, I've taken everything off because I don't feel 100, I barely even feel 10%, um, but the only way that I'm going to see my max potential at Ben Weeder is if I'm able to really go hard for the next few weeks and I can't go hard if my back feels like it's broken, so... Um, if this doesn't feel better in the next, realistically in the next week, but I'm going to give it two weeks. If I'm two weeks out and still not able to run a routine, like I'm probably not going to compete. I don't want to really put that juju out there. Um, but I just like, I don't feel, this does not feel right at all. Okay. So I just left the chiropractor. You guys, I feel a hundred percent better. Now I'm not at 100%. <laughs> I'm just saying I feel a lot better um there's definitely still some lingering stuff which obviously that's you know when you have when you have like injuries there's also inflammation and tightness and things that happen around your body they don't just go away once you you know when you get an adjustment for instance like I still have a lot of that stuff pulsing through there that's just gonna calm down now so I do feel a lot better and now I don't feel like I have to drop out of the show I literally texted Ruben and said I feel a lot better I was I was almost thinking that I needed to drop out of Ben Weeder. Um, but now I'm like, okay, I think if we just take another week of routine rest and the chiropractor, <laughs> I told him what was going on. You know, I was at the gym. Nothing really happened. I didn't feel anything happen. But when I was walking out, I just noticed I did not feel good and I have not felt good at all for the last few days. And he goes, did you, were you happen? were you doing shoulders that day? I said, yes. He goes, lucky guess. So basically all the overhead heavy, like it's just, it just did something it wasn't supposed to do. So anyway, I'm going to take off from routine and overhead. I still, I have to be able to do shoulders. Maybe I'm not going to take off shoulders. I don't know. We're going to see how I feel. I might go light, see how I feel doing back. Cause again, like this feels okay. I think that feels, we're going to find out. I'm going to try to take it easy ish over the next week. I am gonna do cardio, I can run, I can do stairs, I can do the assault bike. I had to test out that motion. I can do the assault bike. You guys know Sydney does 20 minutes on the assault bike during prep? I did 20 minutes on the assault bike one time. It was a horrible nightmare. Uh, but it gets the job done, let me tell you. So I might be cranking up the intensity on my cardio hard like that, especially because I can't run my routine. So I don't know. I'm going to be doing cardio. Like I said, we're increasing to two hours. Um, Ruben didn't really agree to it, but he didn't disagree. When I said, yeah, I think I should do two hours of cardio. He said, you think you need to do that? And I said, yes. And that was the end of the conversation. He didn't say, no, you don't need to do that. Or I don't think you should do that. Or no, I'll send you the plan. Like, so I'm like, okay, if you didn't say I shouldn't, then I'm doing it. So 
I told them, I said I was doing two hours of cardio in, leading into the Olympia. Like, so we'll see. We'll see how the body shapes up, taking rest. Um, but I do think that doing two hours of cardio a day, especially if at least one hour of that is pretty intense, um, that I probably won't have to do two hours of cardio for the rest of the time. And that I should be able to still have good routine conditioning, even though I'm not running a routine. So anyway, that's all. I'm running out of room to film because I have to still upload my other, like my previous prep vlog. So all of these clips are still on my phone. All these clips are still on my phone. So I'm going to end it here for now. Um, I'll probably won't check in again until after I upload that video so I can delete some videos. Okay. So it is Saturday, the 19th, I think, whatever, 18th, 19th. Well, I don't know. Ruben just competed. Uh, he got fifth. I am sick now. I am so irritated. Like first I freaking broke my back. Um, now I went to the chiropractor and I feel so much better today. Like I felt better immediately yesterday, but even today I feel so much better. I am going to go back to the chiropractor, um, maybe on Monday, maybe on Tuesday, but one of those days I'm going to go back to the chiropractor, um, just to like make sure we're all good. And then I got to turn it up on cardio. So I was 134.2 this morning, y'all. Like she's back. She is back. I was 140 at the beginning of this week. 134 is good because that means I only have three to four ish pounds to lose before peak week. And that's basically like a 1.2, 1 to 1.2, 1.3 pounds per week, which is, I'm not going to say easy because it's absolutely not easy, but easy compared to what I thought I was going to have to be doing for this prep, because I thought I was going to have to lose like two and a half pounds a week. Um, but so one to 1.2, that's, you know, that's like a, maybe a 4,000 calorie deficit over the week. 5,000 calorie deficit over a week. That's less than a thousand calorie deficit a day, which is still a lot like a thousand calorie deficit. But I mean, my baseline's probably right now running 17 to 1800. So my food's only around a thousand already. So that pretty much puts me in that deficit. But then we're turning up on cardio. Like I said, we're going one to two hours here. So your girl is, is she going to be right? Uh, as long as I can maintain my, my, level of output right um and as long as I can have perfect preps so that's the name of the game right now but I mean like I said I think I said it in yesterday's like video or clips when I was recording I'm fighting for that number two physique spot again I think that I'm safely in the number three where I'm at right not where I'm at right now but like if I kind of do if I do what I did this week over the next three weeks I think that I'm safely in the number three however I, I just really believe that if I turn up, I mean, maybe I'm going to turn up and stay in the number three and that's fine too, because ultimately it's about giving your best. But I just, I just feel like if I turn, oh, this is my turn, damn it. I just feel like if I turn up, turn up over the next three weeks, I, I could secure a second place physique. If I secure a second place physique, y'all, you can't tell me shit. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Um, so we're just going to see how it goes. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. All right, good morning, guys. It is Sunday, October 20th. I just finished an hour of cardio. We are officially pushing 90 to two hours, 90 minutes to two hours of cardio a day because we are four weeks out. Um, and it's time to turn up, you know? Um, I did get an adjustment. I can't remember if I mentioned that in my last vlog. I don't think that I did. I don't know. I don't know where I am. Um, because I'm like a couple days behind on editing. So I know it's not in the last vlog that I'm uploading right now, but I might've already mentioned it in this vlog. I don't know. Anyway, got an adjustment. I'm feeling better. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, I definitely talked about it. doesn't matter. I'm able to push cardio. Still have this congestion situation going on, which is really irritating, but just, I mean, nothing you can do besides just try to take care of your body and let it do what it does. So, um, not going to stop me from doing cardio. So I just did 40 minutes on the treadmill, incline walk, and then 20 minutes on the bike. Um, I would have run, but I couldn't find my running shoes this morning. I mean, I brought them to Ruben's show. So they're packed in one of the bags and I just, I couldn't find them. So I was like, I'm not going to run if I'm not in running shoes. So I was wearing these. Um, so I was walking and then, like I said, I got on the bike, but it's a good hour of cardio. Going to find another hour later today. Um, probably at powerhouse so I can do the stairs. Um, but yeah, I feel good. I was 137 this morning, so I was 134 yesterday, right? Like 134.2. Um, but we ate late. I will fully admit to you guys, we went to BJ's, and I said that, like, we're going to BJ's. Um, and I ate, like, primary, I ate some pizuki. Um, Ruben and I just, like, had a small discussion about it. He was just like, whatever, it's just considered a free meal. Like, you've never had a free meal before in a prep. Um, now, do we really get free meals when we're behind? No, but 
we're gonna figure we're gonna figure out it is what it is like it was Ruben's first day off his diet like truly off his diet in months so we just decided we were willing to especially because my weight was so low yesterday we were like okay whatever weight increase I have tomorrow which is now today it's not like it's gonna be fat like it's just literally gonna be food so anyway we're back on 110 percent today okay so my day got kind of switched up so we're at powerhouse but I only have about 25 minutes um, I was planning to come do my second hour of cardio later, but I'm doing 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna hit that assault bike for 20 minutes, pulling to Sydney. So it is Sunday. Um, I just got back from my mom's house. I was packing a bag, or packing a bag. I was cleaning up our old room and packing a box. Some point during that whole thing, I lost my case for my earbuds. So I had one in my ear. So I'm, chopping vegetables. Just let me open this really fast. Um, why can't I open this? Okay, so I had one earbud in my ear. I was on YouTube. Um, and then the other one was just in my case, which was just like on the floor in the room. Um, right in. Anyway, I got everything cleaned up and I'm like getting ready to leave and I'm like, Where's my earbud case? Hold on, my daughter needs me. Okay, that's enough, you don't have clothes on. Okay, so, anyway, I'm like getting everything cleaned up and I'm about to leave and I'm like, where is my earbud, like, case? And I could not find it, so I just grabbed the box and I'm like, well, hopefully it's somewhere in this box. I dumped out the trash, because I'm like, well, hopefully I didn't put it in the trash. Reagan, you're not gonna say hi, you don't have any clothes on. She said I do now, she has a tutu on. Um, so I dumped out the trash, it wasn't the trash, so I'm like, hopefully it's in this box and I'm just gonna unpack the box. Um, I had to like turn off the earbud through my JBL app because if you are someone who wears buds, um, you know that you just turn them on and off by putting them in the case and taking them out of the case. Um, so I couldn't, technically couldn't turn it off without the case, except that JBL, like I said, has an app, so I just turned it off in the app, but you can't turn them on without the case. Like, when I turned it off in the app, it said to, to, to power your earbud back on, we put it back in the case, and then take it out of the case. So, like, I can't use my earbuds anymore until I find the case. So, I'm chopping vegetables. I got sweet peppers and snap peas in there. I'm also about to chop a couple mushrooms, and then um, I have some shrimp that I'm going to make but I only did an hour and 20 of cardio today so I sit so okay let's talk about this two hours of cardio I'm only supposed to be doing oh let me get on my I'm only supposed Megan please she's doing the potato sack race in one of my grocery bags I'm only supposed to be doing okay I gotta go For the third time, I'm only supposed to be doing, technically, an hour of cardio a day. So I'm over what I'm supposed to be doing. But again, I told Ruben, hey, I'm going to do two hours. So it is extra credit. So I'm not like super tripping that I didn't get the full two hours done today. However, like I need to get the full two hours done if I want my body to come in right. So I just couldn't do it today just because of the way that my day ended up going. And my mom was... I. I didn't account for my mom having a life. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll do this, and then I'll just leave Reagan at my mom's while I go do the rest of my cardio. Well, my mom is out in these streets. Um, she went to see this comedian that she follows, so actually I follow him too, but anyway, she went out, so I couldn't leave Reagan there to go do cardio, so now I'm at home. <laughs> um, cooking dinner and not doing cardio. I mean, I'll probably do like just a little bit of abs here or something, like not cardio, but just get a little bit of something else done, but We'll try again tomorrow. Sundays are just hard. Weekends are just hard because the kids club at Powerhouse is only open until one. Um, and then they're closed the rest of the day. Like the weekdays, they're open in the morning and the afternoon. So I don't have to worry about having somewhere for Reagan to go for my second session, right? The first session I'll do in the morning, either when she's asleep and Ruben's home or while she's at school. The second session is when I need, you know, childcare. So anywho, that's where we are. Did great on my diet today. Um, happy with the amount of cardio that I did, even though it wasn't as much as I planned to do. But you know, I'm just hoping that this this week brings me a really big change, so that my last 
two weeks and I know this is this gets kind of confusing because I'm four weeks out right now by the end of this video I will be three weeks out but I I never like count peak week in the amount of time that I have so even though I'm about to be or I'm coming up on three weeks in my mind like I have two weeks to get this done so currently right now I'm like 3.8 weeks out right like it's Sunday I was four weeks out on Friday um but again, I just don't consider peak week as part of the time. So if you guys like hear me say these things where I'm like, oh, I have two weeks to get this done. And you're like, oh, I thought you were three weeks out. Like I am three weeks out. I'm well aware of that. Um, I'm not making a mistake. That's just how I'm doing the math in my head. So anyway, I'm going to cook dinner. Entertain Reagan. She needs to get in the bathtub. I just didn't want her to get in the bath without supervision because every time she gets in the bathtub without supervision, like the bathroom turns into an aquarium. So... All right, y'all, it is Monday morning. It's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock. I just dropped off Reagan at school, um, and I just got to Powerhouse. I still don't know where my running shoes are. I'm pretty sure I left them at the hotel. Um, I'm going to call the hotel, but I have never, when I say never, I mean never once in my life left something at a hotel and then got it returned to me. Um, and I'm not making any assumptions about the people who clean these rooms. However, however, I will say it is crazy to me because I leave stuff in hotels not often, but often enough. I mean, I not anymore. I don't travel quite as much, but you know, in my early 20s, y'all, I was in 30 hotels a year. I was I mean, leaving stuff in hotels. You're telling me out of the probably total 10 to 15 times I've left something in a hotel and like not not like under the bed or which they should be finding it anyway because they're cleaning these rooms. I mean, hanging in the closet, like in very obvious places. You're telling me never once has have these items been found. I'll call the hotel. No, nothing's been turned in. No, we'll let you know if they No, nothing's been turned in. Never once has anything been turned in. So anyway, I'm going to call and ask about my shoes, but I probably got to buy a new pair of running shoes, which sucks because y'all know, um, I spent a good bit of time, like in my regular vlog talking about, I need to get new shoes. And then I ended up getting new shoes, but they're shoes to train in. Like these are not running shoes. So I don't really have shoes. I don't have running shoes right now. Um, and with all this cardio that I'm about to be doing, um, I do have a pair at the gym at burn Boot Camp that are running shoes, I guess, but they're old. And so I'm going to need to get a new pair of running shoes. Um, so anyway, I'm at Powerhouse. I am going to do the assault bike for 20, then do the stairs for 20, and then get on the treadmill and walk for 20. Um, my neck feels pretty good. Um, I'm going to do upper body strength at Burn Boot Camp tonight, though, and just like take it pretty light. I'm not going to do anything um, heavy overhead. You know, it's, it's like arms, spies, tri shoulders, chest, back. It's like a little bit of everything on the upper body. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come back and do another hour of cardio, probably the whole hour steady state um so anyway that's what's going on today oh i'm gonna use this i thought this was for um like under your sweat thing like um abs of steel glutes of steel like all that stuff but i think you just put it on whenever it just says apply twice a day on the desired body area such as abs buttocks 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 how do you say that legs hips thighs and arms massage for at least 60 90 seconds so the cream penetrates into the skin um Anyway, I, like I said, we got this at one of these shows. I don't really think stuff like this works, but the worst that's going to happen is it's not going to work. Who cares? Um, so I'm going to put this on my stomach. <laughs> then got my turn fit thing. Reagan peeled this off. So that's great. Uh, anyway, but going to hit this hour. I still only have one earbud and it doesn't have a case, so I can't even turn it on. So anyway, at some point today, hopefully I'm going to unpack that entire box that I packed, packed at my mom's yesterday um, and maybe find my earbuds. But I'm going to get back. I'm going to get in there so I have time to do that before I have to pick up Reagan. Just got to Powerhouse. Reagan's asleep. So I did an hour of cardio earlier. I really wanted to do an hour and 20. Um, I did 20 minutes on the assault bike. And then I think I said I was going to do 20 on the stairs and 20 on the treadmill. But when I got done with the assault bike, there was someone on the Stairmaster that I like to use because they're not all like the same brand. I know Stairmaster is a brand, but you know, at this point, Stairmaster is a Stairmaster. Um, someone was on the one. There's only one that is the one brand that I like and someone was on it. So I was like, well, I'm just going to get on the treadmill. So I got on the treadmill and walked for 40 minutes. So that got me to my hour. But then by the time I was done with that, the girl was off the Stairmaster. So I was like, well, I'm still going to go hit this 20 on the stairs. So then later when I come back, I'll only have 40 minutes left. Um, 
but my feet were hurting. I was, those shoes that I have, like, they're just not right for what I was doing. And my feet were killing me. So I literally did four minutes and then I got off. Um, so I still have another hour. So I'm going to do 20 minutes on the stairs and then I'm going to probably do 40 minutes walking on the treadmill. I have different shoes with me. Um, so yeah, your girl is hungry. I am feeling tired. This is my first day of two hours of cardio. Um, I also lifted at burn boot camp, and again, I'm pretty exhausted. Same girl, same. But, you know, we're under four weeks out and I was like looking back at all my check-ins and stuff and I'm a little tiny bit lighter than I was four weeks out from van, but I don't necessarily look tighter. It's hard to tell because the lighting's not the same in my check-in photos. I basically look the same, um, but my van look is not the target. So I need to be looking better than that. You know, I need to have more. I need to have a faster trajectory than I did at four weeks out from van, right? Because when I was four weeks out from Arizona, I had already competed. When I was four weeks out from Titans, I, I was on stage four weeks out from Titans. So I just have to have a faster trajectory if I want to look as good or better than I did at Titans. Um, so, you know, I'm tired. I'm hungry. But you got to do what you got to do if you're trying to, trying to secure this qualification. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, mm, the 24th. So I... Have I talked to you guys this week? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I think, I don't know. Um, I'm headed to pick up Reagan from my mom's house. She stayed at my mom's house last night because I was originally actually supposed to work this morning, um, but I actually got us up, so I just slept in. Um, so, picking up Reagan from my mom's, then gotta get Reagan ready for school, and then hopefully we'll have time to go to Powerhouse before she goes to school um, so I can get my first hour of cardio done, and then after I drop her off, um, I'll lift and do my second hour. Um, or maybe I won't lift. I don't know. Like we're in this grind time where we're pretty much just lifting to like maintain muscle. Um, I'm really just trying to burn fat y'all. I just got to burn these calories. So it's pretty much all cardio all the time. Um, I am lifting a little bit, but I'm also still dealing with this neck thing. So I'm trying not to push it. Um, so I have two hours of cardio today, which I normally cannot do on Thursdays because I'm normally training right now. But again, I got subs. So two hours of cardio today, chiropractor today. Um, and then tomorrow's Friday, so it's check-in day. Um, I'm also going to, I've taken a week, over a week off of routine practice because of my neck. Tomorrow I have to run halves. Like I have to get back in. We're, tomorrow we're going to be three weeks out. Um, so I'm going to run halves tomorrow. And then we're going to Bakersfield for the weekend. And then I'm going to try to run a full out on Monday. Like, because we got to figure it out because I'm not even, I'm still not even sure that I like this music. Um, obviously I feel like the music makes the routine. It, you know, it doesn't make the routine, but it makes a big impact on how the routine is received. So I just have to see, like, do I need to send this back to my DJ and get edits done? I just don't like to get edits done when the routine's already done because edits are going to mean also changing the routine. Um, Allison suggested like just adding some sound effects, but I just don't think that that's not, it didn't, it still feels the way that I don't want it to feel. Um, so then I'm like, well, do I do this new routine just with the old music? I just have run that music so many times. Like I'm, past it I'm so past it so I don't know what I'm gonna do we're gonna see I'm gonna run it full out first and see like when I run it full out does it feel more exciting than when I've been marking it because obviously I've been marking it um we'll see like how full skills full performance all of that impacts it um because otherwise I have to I have to make a change to the music because that obviously that's just gonna it's gonna make a big difference so anyway I'm here to pick up Reagan I'm running tight this morning so I'm not really running tight I have plenty of time but I'm running tight to what I would like to happen this morning even though my schedule is pretty flexible oh so it's Thursday my morning went completely sideways um because no one showed up to train this morning because I just missed there was a miscommunication the girl who said she would train for me um I never actually said okay check yes let's do that um so she didn't show up and I also didn't show up. Uh, so then my morning just got thrown into a complete tizzy. I had a meltdown. I showed up to train the next camp, but she was there and I'm like asking her through tears, do you want me to train? Um, and she's like, no, like go, like go home, go do something, like go do something for yourself. Like you don't need to be here. Um, which actually sent me into more of a spiral. <laughs> so anyway, I dropped Reagan off at my mom's and asked her if she could get Reagan to school. So now I am going to the gym, I guess, to go get my cardio done. But now I'm like, I have two hours of cardio to do. I'm not going to do two hours straight. 
actually, here's what I'm going to do now that I'm driving. I'm going to say this to you guys. I'm going to go to the joint. I'm going to go get adjusted. How do I get to the joint this way? I'm going to go get adjusted and then I'm going to go do an hour of cardio. Then I'm going to eat and I'm going to do another hour of cardio. Pretty much just take a quick break and then go back and do the second hour. The people that work there are going to be like, aren't you just here? But that's how it is when I'm in prep. I'm always at the gym. I'm walking in there three times in one day and they're like, hi, you again? Hi, you again? Uh, yeah, it's me again. And I'm trying everything I have. I It is taking everything in me not to eat my feelings right now. One, because I'm hungry. Two, because I'm on my period. And three, because my mental health. <laughs> what did I see? I saw someone post on Instagram today. She said, I'm not trying to self-diagnose, but I am unwell. That's how I feel. Um, so anyway, good morning once again. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. It is check-in day. My check-ins look like garbage, okay? I started my period a couple days ago. I think I said that on here. And you know what? I have been extremely stressed at this point. Sorry, y'all. I can't do that visor in my face right now. Um, I have been extremely stressed the last couple days, especially yesterday. And my body looks like it. My body looks like I'm on my period and high stress. Um, so I also wasn't really able. I'm trying to think of how much cardio I did this week. I did like... I don't know. I would have to like go back through and see. I know on, I never did two hours. I think like, or maybe on Monday I did two hours and then on Tuesday I did like 45 minutes and then I think another day I had like an hour and a half. Like I definitely did not get all of my cardio done and that was like one of the things I put in my check-in to Ruben. I just said like, I don't feel like we are prioritizing my prep. Like I just feel like I'm trying to do prep on my own and it's just not being supported by the family, which obviously the family is your only group. Um, it's just really challenging. Obviously, as you guys know, in prep, like everybody around you in your circle kind of has to be on board. And even though Ruben's on board, he also just came off of prep. Um, so he's like living best life. And then we're just like, have a lot of other things going on that are like kind of adding to the stress of our lives. And so when I would be going to do cardio, or wanting to go do cardio it's like I feel guilty for leaving and going to the gym when he feels like I should be prioritizing something else at that moment like it's just been a lot of stress and I just don't think that prep has been his priority which is fine it's not his prep but at the same time like he's my coach um so I just told him like I need more prep support like if we're gonna get this done I need you to prioritize my prep um so Anyway, it just, it wasn't a good week. It was not a perfect prep week by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so we're going to see, like, I mean, we just have to work very hard over the next couple of weeks. I don't see myself bringing a personal best. I don't see myself topping Titans at this point, not the way that I look today. Um, now again, a lot of stress period. Like my body could be looking like, you know, a lot of this could melt away in the next couple days. Um, but I mean, I was 137 this morning, you guys, like I was 134 last week and then I was, I've basically been 136 all week. And I literally told Ruben that last night, like I've been 136 all week and it's driving me crazy. And then I woke up at 137. Like, are you kidding me? Um, so I'm just a little bit frustrated by it. I did finally do some skills yesterday. Uh, I haven't done skills, you know, since I hurt my neck. I did finally do some skills and they actually felt really good. So I am going to try to run halves today at Powerhouse, although I can't find my wrist wraps. And I wasn't about to like continue digging around the whole house when Ruben and Reagan were asleep. So I don't have wrist wraps with me. So I'm probably gonna, I mean, that's going to make a big impact on what I'm able to do at the gym today. Um, I mean, well, that because I was planning, let me explain that. I was planning to go straight from training to powerhouse to run my routine. But now it's looking like I'm going to have to either 
if I want to do that, I'm either just going to have to do it without wrist wraps, which my big bounding skills without wrist wraps, like it's just not going to really happen. Um, or I'm going to have to go back home and I just... I just don't want to have to do that because then by the time I turn around and get back out to the gym, especially depending on how long it takes me to find my wrist wraps, like then it's going to be time to go get Reagan. I'm not really going to have time to spend as much time doing that practice as I want to. Um, but anyway, that's the plan. We're going to see what happens. My plan yesterday was to do two hours of cardio and I got zero minutes of cardio done yesterday because of the way that my schedule got flipped upside down. Um, so that's just, that's just been the frustrating thing is I will wake up with a plan to do two hours of cardio and then I will end up doing zero minutes. Like that has happened on multiple occasions, maybe not zero minutes, but I'll have plans written down to do X, Y, Z. And then like, I have to have this makeshift thing where I barely get Y done. So like I said, I said that to Ruben in my check-in, like we have to figure out how I can actually get these things done. Um, so I am planning to run halves today because I need to run a full out on Monday. Like I am three weeks out today. Um, again, that's really in my mind, two weeks to figure this shit out. I'm not going to be learning new skills, especially my routine. Like my body can change obviously during peak week, but my routine, we, we're going to be leaving on the Wednesday. I don't, there is no like that. I'm spending peak week in Alexandria. Like I'm not going to be trying to finish working my routine like I have to have my routine completed done like checked off I know it's gonna hit so anyway today is just not a great check-in I have to I definitely need to like take a second and just like get my mind right because I am I'm just not in a great headspace right now like just as far as this show goes like I really wanted to come into the show feeling really confident and I started this prep off feeling really confident but again like it just seems like I'm just getting thrown like curveball after curveball after curveball after curveball and I just like cannot get a grip um and I'm not saying I can't get a grip on like myself and my actions I'm just saying like I can't get a grip on these situations um and so I'm just trying to do that just trying to figure it out so we'll see how it goes but anyway I'll put my check-ins next and I will see you guys in the next one hopefully the next one's better